in our country, and it's not accidental. If you look at the congressional record from January the 10th, 1963, Congressman Herlong of Florida read into the congressional record the 45 goals of communism in America, how they want to fundamentally change us. Do you know why they need to fundamentally change us? Because the United States of America is the major obstacle to one world government. Number one. And they cannot bring us down militarily. So what do you do next? You go inside. You divide the people on the basis of race, age, income, gender, religion, political affiliation. You have them all at each other's throats. You destroy the fabric and the morality of the people. If you read those 45 goals from over 60 years ago, one of them is to gain control of the public schools and the teacher union so you can indoctrinate the kids gain control of the news media and Hollywood so you can manipulate the opinions of the people, remove God from the public square, go into the churches and change the real gospel for the social gospel. Have you noticed how that's happening in a lot of churches? Instead of laying down the law of God, they got their finger in the air seeing which way the wind is blowing and conforming to that. That's not what the church is supposed to do. But some of the other goals were diminish the role of the family, drive wedges between parents and their children, making the parents seem like the bad people in this whole situation, making sexual immorality normal, natural and healthy. All of these are things that are happening in our society. And here's the problem. It's working. And you see what's happening to us as we allow those influences to become greater in our lives. And you see people talking about my truth and your truth. Whatever happened to the truth? You know? And Jesus said it, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father but by me. You know, we have to be willing to stand up for what we believe in. And particularly the evangelical and the Christian community. There's a lot of us out there, but we have to be more visible. You see, a lot of people, when a conversation starts... Instead of talking about what they believe, they stand in the corner and stare at the floor because they don't want somebody to call them a nasty name or to try to cancel them. But, you know, I've had a lot of people try to cancel me. I don't care about those people. I only care about God. God's not going to cancel.